Let me tell you something. I was at a hotel last night. Had dinner. I was looking forward to Gosh, this. Gosh, you're hanging with your friends. Turned out to be late. Go oh, stay at an hotel. we said let's take this up a notch. <laughs> what do you say we keep these good vibes going? <laughs> let's get a room. <laughs> now we went to this hotel to eat, which I love. I thought this would be nice, but geez, oh Pete, Bridget, you know what I'm talking about. A hundred dollars for a ribeye. Hundred and ten dollars, and then for the fillet, it was ninety-five dollars. This place is not known for its food; it's known for its atmosphere. So a hotel restaurant. Yes. Did you not look at the price before you ordered? No. Oh, and I was embarrassed because I invited my friends there. So uh, let's try this restaurant out. And I was like, and, <laughs> and my buddy Kitty uh, from Here we go. NBC Sports. Here we go. Always got a name. He drop. goes, Lee. I don't have my glasses, but does that say a hundred and ten dollars right there? I mean, yeah, Kenny, that does. Wow. No, Kenny, it says $11 worth the cheapest steakhouse. Yeah, yeah. in the world. Well, yeah. the, 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 the print was tiny. Huh. That's like Hampton's prices. Yeah. Oh. You and I, where were we? This was Orlando, I believe. You and I were in Orlando, and we ate at a place called the Hampton. And we loved it. And I remember, I, the reason I remember this is because that was my grandparents' uh, name. So my mother's maiden name was Hampton. Oh, okay. And then we were there, and I like took a picture, sent it to mom or something, mm -hmm. and it was fantastic. Fantastic. And I don't know if they have more than one of those. I don't know. Remember, it was like in an air, they were having like a football pep rally. Yeah. And then you and I walked into that, mm -hmm. and then we found that place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not interested, are you? I'm agreeing with you and saying yes. Well, you're just. What else do you need me to do? It's vacant right here. Oh my gosh, I remember it. It was just. You've not yesterday. added anything to you. Like, oh yeah, because of the white linen or whatever. You could have added something to it, but instead you're oh. just going. Oh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Well, you keep describing, and I'd already agreed with you. Yes, I remember. I don't think you do. I remember. It was actually called the Hampton Social. Well, why didn't you help me? Why didn't you help me? Why did you leave me here? Because you kept talking and I didn't want to interrupt. So I was just like, oh, oh and my thinking, God. whenever you're done, I'll fill in and say it was called the Hampton Social. And I believe they have multiple locations. I remember I had a great lobster roll there. <laughs> they do have multiple locations. It's a chain. Yeah, Bridget's. Hampton Social. Yeah, that's pretty good. By the way, let me just say this. Where that hotel is that serves you $110 ribeye, right <laughs> next door, about 150 yards away is an old convenience store. I mean old, like it's been there since the 50s. And they have a little greasy spoon. They got a grill right there. And the day before, I got a fried bologna sandwich on white bread for $3. And I kid you not, maybe it says something about me, I enjoyed that more than I did oh, the ribeye. Wow. It was delicious. Put some onion on there, mayonnaise, tomato. The whole uh, thing. And three dollars. Mayonnaise on a bologna sandwich? Absolutely. I don't know. You know, mayonnaise I consider to be a delicious lubricant. It is a delicious lubricant. It helps it slide down, whatever. Uh -huh. And the best thing about a fried bologna uh, sandwich on uh -huh. white bread, that first bite sticks to the roof of yes. your mouth right behind mm -hmm. your teeth. And you got <laughs> you gotta do one of them uh. deals to get it off. Or just yeah. finger it. Sure. Yep. Which either way looks great to whoever's watching you eat the sandwich. Well, I took it to the hotel there. And I, oh, did you? I ate it there. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Better than a ribeye for $110. Well, you're an idiot for not looking at the prices before Why you Why would ordered. I look at the prices? I Why would you look at the prices? I, so, I okay, that is such was... a rich person thing to say. Why would I look at the prices? I don't look at, I look at the prices for everything. Would a rich person be sitting there complaining about it? No. It, it was good. It was a good ribeye. The fillets the boys got. They I'm saying if you think that they overcharge for their steaks, you can't be yes. mad at them for that because you didn't look ahead of time. I bought it anyway. I could have. You were going to order it anyway. Yes. You I, wouldn't have pivoted and ordered a hamburger. I, I like the ribeye. Let's, no, they didn't have it. That's the thing. It was steak only. Yeah. Here's, no. Here's what they go. They go. The menu. The the little waitress lady came out. And goes. The menu is non-adjustable. This is the way the chefs prepared it, and this is the way it is served. There are no modifications. Okay, so steak only. No, they had a chicken dish. I could have got chicken if I wanted, but I was in the mood for steak. Okay, so what does the no modifications thing have to you do with? Can't like you can't like it. I you know what it means with, <laughs> with you not looking at the prices. I'm with Haley on this one. How does that correlate with you not being able to pick chicken? Yeah. No, I could have. Well, what, because she asked about a hamburger. 
There was no hamburger available. So all they had were two steaks <laughs> and a piece of chicken. They had, yes. And that's why they had to charge so much, because they only had three. They, they had one had, steak. No, their menu is steak. very uh, limited. Yeah, and they had like, and they have like uh, seasons or or lands. This is from the flatland, and this is from the hills, and this is you know whatever. You know. You're really you're making me want to go to this place. They sound. I great. love everything about the place. I really? Did, you would not say I didn't want to pay hundred and ten dollars for a steak. You didn't have to, because you could have ordered something else. I'll what chicken? Uh, yes. How much was the chicken? How much was the chicken? Chicken was like thirty bucks. Or so you did look at how much stuff was. How sure. would you know how much the chicken was? I looked at it. I didn't want chicken. I wanted so steak. So you did look at the steak. Your price. You're just complaining. No, I, I, I knew what the price was. It wasn't like I was you surprised. You didn't look. I asked you directly. Once I oh, got there and was seated. Uh, there's nothing worse than I'm when the jig about, is up. You lied and you've been caught. I haven't lied about anything. You asked if I looked at the price beforehand. I did not. I looked at the price once I was in the seat, and we turned the ignition and we lit the candle. You know now we're ready well for launch. That is not what I we meant. were all under the assumption that you didn't know what the price was until the bill came out. Yeah, because no, that's remember, what you led us what, to believe. Why would you think that when I said Kenny and I looked at the thing and it said it's 110 bucks? Who do you think bill, I was talking you to? You said I couldn't believe it. <laughs> so you you knew the price and still ordered it. So don't complain. I thought Kenny, I thought you were saying like Kenny was the only one really yeah. paying attention. No, we just to couldn't see. He just, no, when we sat there, I was like, oh, wow. Okay. I, you could be shocked at the price. I was you don't shocked. have to pay, You don't have to pay that price if you don't order the item. Do you see? I didn't want chicken. I wanted <laughs> steak. <laughs> Why is it so hard to understand about this? Then don't complain about the price. Why not? You, you complain about everything all day long. I hear nothing but complaints from you. I'd bring up, hey, they're, over, they're overcharging. They back that down like a $75 steak or something. Jeez. You know they go to Kroger or Publix or Winn-Dixie or the Hogley Wogley, and, and they pay $12 <laughs> for that filet. And then they upcharge to 110 Are you kidding me? Oh, man.